time for another 5-Minute-ish Review. P23's Restore Point comes to us out of the Czech Republic. This sci-fi murder mystery is the directorial debut of Robert Claus, and he had a hand in the script along with Tomislav Setska and Zinetnik Yeselin. Stars Andrea Mohalova, Matai Hadek, and Milan Andrik. And my apologies for any mispronunciation. I did try and find some guides, but, you know, the internet. The film takes place in Central Europe in the year 2041. Social and economic disasters have led to everyone having the right to be restored in the event of an untimely death. Technology allows a person to back up their memories and personality to a cloud service provided by the Institute of Restoration. So long as you have a backup from less than 48 hours ago, a restore point, they can heal your body and download your backup and resurrect you. The creator of this technology and his wife were murdered. With no usable restore points to be found, Detective Emma Truckanoaska begins an investigation to determine if these murders were the actions of a terrorist organization organization who call themselves the River of Life. This group does not believe in these unnatural resurrections. With the River of Life blamed for her husband's murder a couple years before, Emma is determined to get the people responsible. But the deeper into the investigation she gets, the more she discovers that things are not as simple as they appear on the surface. I'll admit that I had some expectations when I went into this film. One was that it would be another low-budget, backyard attempt at science fiction. That expectation was immediately squashed. While I have no idea how big of a budget the film actually had, it was obvious that it was not a bunch of friends smashing two nickels together trying to make a quarter. Stunning visuals and expertly shot cinematography is a highlight right from the start. Whatever budget they had, they used it wisely. Another expectation that was that this was going to be a European rehash of 2014's Edge of Tomorrow, or Live, Die, Repeat, whichever title you prefer. With the subject matter of being able to upload and download your memories and personalities, I was expecting a lot of our characters getting somewhere or doing something only to be killed or murdered and having to start all over sort of a reverse happy death day. Happily, this film is neither of those. While the uploading and downloading of a person plays heavily throughout, it doesn't completely overtake the plot. The the film was mostly a really taut police procedural. The mystery behind the murders unfolds for the audience as it does for our hero. We are no more the wiser than the characters on the screen. And that is always something I appreciate. Don't get me wrong, I love me a good Columbo mystery, but the audience always knows who the killer is, and and we get some enjoyment in watching the raincoat-wearing sleuth figure it out, which we know he always will. The mysteries I enjoy the most, though, are the ones that give us the clues along with our detective, and we get to try and figure it out along with them. If the film can manage to do that and provide some surprise twists and turns while doing so, well, that makes for a great time. Restore Point does just that fairly well. I think they hint at the truth of the River of Life a little early in the film and take away some of the mystery in order to turn it into more of an action film, but that is me thinking back on the film after mulling it over in my head for a few days. While watching it, I was completely enthralled and along for whatever ride they chose to put me on. The film was amazingly well cast. I'm not up on my Czech or Slavic film and film stars, so I have no idea how well known any of the stars are, but as far as this film goes, I dug them. Especially a star Angela Mohalova as the depressed yet driven detective. Thanks to her amazing performance, you understand the character's pain and why she is so determined to get to the bottom of it all. She's willing to do anything and everything to destroy the river of life, and that doesn't change once she discovers the truth about the group. I know subtitled films can turn some people off, but I'd strongly recommend you give this one a try, especially if you're a fan of well-directed, well-acted, and intriguing science fiction. There isn't near enough of it going around, so when it does, we have to jump on it no matter the language. Restore Point is scheduled for a UK digital release on the 1st of April and is currently available for purchase from multiple platforms here in the United States. 
I highly recommend it. And if you do check it out, be sure to come to any of the social media sites that we hang out at and let us know what you thought of it. The links to all of them are in the show notes. Be sure to check out all our regular episodes by visiting timeshifterspodcast.com or wherever you like to listen to podcasts. Until next time, have you packed up today?